Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the perfect prints using the white toner, uh, the printer that I have, and I'm gonna show you guys my equipment here in a minute, uh, but the printer that I have is the Uninet uh, iColor 540, um, but the process is still gonna be the same if you have the 560 or whatever white toner printer you have. So let's take a look at the equipment that I have. Like I said, we're gonna go ahead and use the iColor 540, and we're going to use uh, this heat press. If you're using a different heat press, uh, that's fine, but you're gonna have to play around with the settings, play around with the temperature, play around with the pressure, so you do get that high quality uh, print, okay? So in the two-step um, A and B, the first sheet, the A, it has a uh, shiny side, and it has a dull side, right? The shiny side, uh, goes down in the printer and the dual side goes up. We want to print on the dual side. Um, so shiny, down, dual, up. Okay, so I know there's two ways that you can put the paper in, but I use the tray. So we're going to just go ahead and open up the tray. And like I said, we're going to put the dual side up, shiny side down um, inside the tray. Like I said, you want to do one at a time so you don't jam the printer. That has happened to me. Uh, but go ahead and close that up. Okay, so this is what I'm printing um, today. And it says, uh, coffee gives me teacher powers. And so I'm going to go ahead and I already have it here. And um, I want to have it pretty big. So um, I'm using up the whole sheet. But I'm also putting it in a position where... Uh, it's not going to get cut off on the sides. So um, you're going to just click on here and then click on the printer with the rainbow. And you're going to go ahead and print. Okay, so now that we have our print, uh, it printed on the dual side. What we need to do is we need to put the B side uh, together so we can um, marry that together. Now, you don't want to touch this at all you want to make sure there's no lint or anything on there uh, make sure there's nothing on there that's going to cause your design to have a, um, a hiccup so uh, what we're going to do is the b side um, where the lines are that's the back so on the front we're going to go ahead and just place that on the design let me show you so just like that we got the a and b together and i find it easier to peel by adding a piece of scratch paper um, between the two, sticking out just a little bit, don't touch your design at all, uh, but just sticking out a little bit, that way we can peel it easier, okay? The Mary process, we wanna be at about 300 degrees. Uh, the pressure, we wanna be at about three or four, uh, depending on your heat press. Uh, you may have to adjust it um, accordingly depending on if it works out or not. So uh, I started at five, which is recommended, but five was too much. So I went down to four um, and uh, that was too much. So I went down to three and then after I put my paper in there, it put it at four. So that was perfect, right? So between three and four is perfect. And you wanna heat this pad up for about five minutes. So uh, you just wanna uh, put your heat press down uh, and, and let it heat up for about five minutes. I usually do about 120 uh, seconds, lift it up, another 120, lift it up, another 120, so about six minutes. Um, but yeah, once that's all heat up, which mine is already heat up, we want to go ahead and start the very process. So take your design and we're just gonna lay it down on this hot surface. I find it better for me to have the um, scratch paper on the other side uh, so I can peel from this side. And then go ahead and put your craft paper on the design. And you're gonna go ahead and marry this now for 120 seconds at 300 degrees. And the pressure's at four right now. So if there was no paper in there, the pressure would be at three, but because we have the paper in there, it put the pressure at four because it's a little bit tighter now. So we're gonna go ahead and let this go for 120 seconds and I will show you uh, on the next video what we're gonna do. 
Okay, so we have about 20 seconds left and it's important that we move fast. Uh, so we have a rag here. <clears throat> Once this is done, uh, we're gonna go ahead and just rub the design a little bit. Uh, we want it to stay hot, but we're gonna rub that design just so we make sure that it sticks to the adhesive when we peel it. So uh, let's go ahead and start that process. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and remove the craft paper and uh, just rub the design. And we wanna do this quickly. We want it to stay hot. Now, where we put the, I know you guys can't see it right here, um, but where we put that piece of uh, scrap paper, we're gonna go ahead and just lift that up. And then <clears throat> what I like to do is hold it down with, one, with the rag on the A side and then start rolling the B side up. Now, uh, how fast you pull it is really up to you. I find it, you know, people say to, to do it slow. Uh, I find it to do it uh, fast uh, works out better for me. So, boom, we got that. Now let me show you. Okay, so uh, we went ahead and peeled it, and now this is what we have here. So we can set that down. This one right here, you can see the design 100% came off uh, with the adhesive, so nothing got stuck on there. Super great peel. Um, now we can throw this part away. Okay, so today we're going to be printing on a medium-sized woman's uh, loose-fit shirt, and... Um, before we get started on that, it's important that we uh, cut around the design because it actually has these adhesive marks on here on the edges and that will go on your shirt if you press it like this. So um, you can just go ahead and cut it out like this. I try to get as close to the design as possible, but in reality, you just need to cut off those uh, edges. Okay, so we have our design there. Now I like to heat press the shirt for a little bit. I also like to hit it with the lint roller. So let me show you guys. Okay, so I went ahead and put my t-shirt down and uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and lint roll it. You wanna make sure you lint roll it uh, before you, you uh, print that design because you don't want any lint messing up your print. So it doesn't matter how sloppy you do it because you're gonna pick up the shirt and lay it back down anyways. And you can see how much uh, came off, uh, which is quite a bit. Okay, so I went ahead and laid it back down. And what I like to do is put some craft paper on top and just heat press it for a little bit. That way we get a flat surface. It takes out all the wrinkles. You definitely don't want to have any wrinkles um, when you're putting that down. That will mess up your design. Uh, the pressure and stuff while you're heating this up, that does not matter. Um, and so it's going to lift it up now okay so that gave us a nice flat surface so we're going to go ahead and lay down the design now you want to make sure that the uh, design is facing down and i usually do about three fingers from the top um, and then i just kind of eye it to see if it's even um, i do have one of those t-shirt measurements where you can actually uh, set this here um, and if you notice, that's about right where it goes. Um, but the three finger method is what I like to use. Now you're gonna go ahead and put your craft paper on. Now it's important that you change the settings here. So um, uh, originally we were at 120 seconds, but you can actually change it. So, um, you know, this right here, I'm at 120 seconds. Now this one, we are going to print for 30 seconds. The pressure needs to be five, okay? 300 degrees, 30 seconds, pressure five. So we're gonna go ahead and stick this in here. And let this go for 30 seconds. Okay, so I like to use this here. Uh, this is just a mat that I have to pull the shirt off because you want to uh, make sure that you're not moving that design at all. Um, you want it to stay on here for as long as possible, recommended about 10 minutes. So um, now we're just gonna go put this down here. 
Okay, so we have this shirt here. Uh, you want it to cool for at least 10 minutes. Uh, what I like to do is turn on the, the cooler here um, to cool it off faster. Now you can get away with keeping this here for about five minutes. However, I like to do about 10, 10, 15 minutes. You want it to be as cool as possible. So it's been about 15 minutes. It's super, super cool. Um, and we want to peel this uh, really slow. Okay. And I know it's a little hard to see here, but um, you want to make sure that the design is not, you want to do a roll peel. So basically um, just roll it up like this and peel. But right here, it's struggling a little bit. So you want to be very careful when you're peeling it. Very slow. If you see that it's starting to come up a little bit, just uh, focus on that area for a moment. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, so that's our design here, but um, we're not finished. So you can see that it has like a glossy look to it. Um, and it still is bubbled up just a little bit. So we're gonna heat press this again. Okay, so go ahead and put that back on the heat press and we wanna put our craft paper on here. Now, uh, they do make specific paper, uh, craft paper for this process. Um, and this is a process that a lot of people forget about or don't know about, but it's important that you do it. This one has a <clears throat> bit of a texture to it. Um, so the results come out really neat. But like I said, they do have specific paper for this. So we're gonna go ahead and heat press it 300 degrees for um, about 30 seconds. Let's go ahead and peel this now. Do it real slow. And that is the finished project. So. We uh, have the design uh, really professional and it doesn't have that shiny look anymore. Um, and it's also, uh, you know, put into the shirt a lot better than what it was earlier. So that's our design.